So to side pass him, you can use two hands. And if you don't know a horse, that's probably the best way to do it. Uh, or you can neck rein. Of course, you have three different spots. If you want to turn his front end, you come forward just slightly here at the girth, the middle to side pass, and the back to turn the haunches. Now I have really short legs, so I have to get up higher than a lot of people to do it, but they will learn to accommodate themselves for you. So if we're going to side pass, and let's keep it in the middle. So press, 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 press. I did not go, just put it in for all I'm worth. He's doing it, but see how he got a little locked up there? Because horses lean against pressure. So I'm going to come back, press, 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 press. We got a little stuck there with the hind end. There we go. Good. As soon as we're done, I drop my rein and I take my foot away. I also took my other foot away. So if I'm going this way, this foot we, or leg will press to the side, but this foot will go slightly away from his body to open it up for him. Let's try that again. The neck rein, I'm neck reining him a bit, but I'm really just saying don't go forward. So. Press, 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 yeah. Come back, see how that foot opens up and gives him room to go? Good, good. 